Welcome to the exclusive listening session of Hanku's brand new English album. I'm super, super excited about it. My name is Carla McKenzie from Jack Rand FM. And just because it's locked down in South Africa, we are almost in level three. It doesn't mean that the music should stop. And that's what I love, absolutely love about Hanku is that he's releasing an album for everybody to hear. And we're a couple of hours away from hearing the entire album. Hanku, welcome to you. Thanks so much, Carla. I appreciate it. Thanks Are so you doing well? Are you fine? Yeah, we're keeping busy, trying to keep busy. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about the album. So it's, it's lifting me up a bit. So it's good. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, how's lockdown been so far for you? Yeah, it's getting quite long now, <laughs> I think, for everybody. Um, but yeah, you have to stay positive. Uh, I think it will pass as well. So got to keep strong and just keep busy now, for sure. And one thing that I always say on my show every single week is that obviously it's not on the list of all the essential items that the government told us that we should have or go out to get. But one of the essential things that I think that is extremely essential during this time is obviously music. And I love that South African yeah, artists yeah. are not stopping making music. They're not um, postponing the album release dates. They are saying, listen, this is yeah. the date. I'm going to release it yeah. at this very, very yeah, yeah, you, you have to. I mean, you got to, the people aren't going to stop listening to music. Uh, you have to remember that. Um, I feel like a lot of people are focusing on social media as well now. So I think that's the best, best thing about this is that everybody's on social media. They're checking out what's happening. And that's why we decided to release it now. I mean, we plan to release it a bit earlier and then we just wanted to see how the lockdown goes, but we decided to release it though, yeah. So I'm very, very excited. I always wanted to know this because I don't sing, I don't play any instruments, yeah. but finally you've been working on this album for so long. And finally yeah. we are a couple of hours away from actually getting the album, yeah. purchasing the album. How does it feel to know that it's finally here, it's out? Stressful, but <laughs> I'm super excited. <laughs> um, I mean, you put you put music out there. You hope uh, people relate to it and like the music. I mean, you, you take a gamble, but um, like I told everyone about this album, it feels different. Um, I think like Echo, it means a lot to me because all of the songs are like an echo of my life. All, all the things that happened in this plus minus a year time. And um, yeah, it's just special. I think it's the most honest work I've put out for sure. Um, and there's a lot of songs that people are going to relate, relate to now, like Hope. Um, the one song, Hope, is uh, it's about holding on to that hope and not losing hope, not losing your faith. And I think uh, people need that now. So I'm super excited for the people to hear that song. I know, and Echo is also incredible. It's on the SA Top 20 at the moment. Hopefully it's going to go to yeah, number yeah. one, but at this yeah, very I moment, so, I, so. I hope so too, at this very yeah, moment, yeah. we we are chatting now it's currently number three so it's in the top three yeah. on the asset of 20 holding yeah. holding yeah. thumbs um, yeah, and <laughs> obviously you've been talking about the album now there's there's 12 tracks on it and um if yeah. you have any advice especially to young people to people who's young at heart during lockdown um you're yeah. doing incredible things in mm. this trying time in south africa what advice do you have for people during this time well i'll just uh, i'll just um reference to the song hope just hold on to your hope i mean it's gonna pass uh, i've been down a lot of days in this lockdown as well i'm not gonna lie but um, i mean the next day is gonna be better i promise you that so i'm um, just keep on doing what you're doing and i mean it's a perfect time to to practice your craft now i mean when the opportunity after the lockdown comes you can hit it and you can just do it so i think just stay busy do what you love uh listen to the album um <laughs> yeah just keep keep busy yeah and listen to the album, listen to Echo. I want to tell you a little secret. Every single week, I obviously play Echo on the SA Top 20. And yeah, yeah. then I'm busy with something else. I'm listening to the song. I'm like, oh, goodness, did I put an international song on the chart? Um, and then I realized that that is your sound. You have this universal sound yeah. about you. Yeah, that, that means a lot. That means a lot. Thanks so much. Yeah, I, feel like the music, I, I feel like the music, our goal is to reach international standard and have millions of listeners and you know get to that point so i think from the get-go we went for you know we put all the effort in we try to match or be better than the songs out there now and i think we we pulled it off with a bunch of songs and yeah so i'm real excited and this is definitely an exclusive listening session with you and me and yeah. a lot of other people <laughs> so yeah. the the point is to listen so we're going to listen to echo first Let's listen, yeah. <laughs> 
scream your name all night But the only reply is an echo of me An echo of me Did I love you right? Cause the only reply is an echo of me An echo of me Echo Why are you coming back to me? Echo It's not you I wanna hear Echo um, Echo's the title of the album as well and the first song on the album. Um, and it's there for a reason because I feel all of these songs are are echo from my life and my experiences uh, that I went through this entire year. Um, echo was also the first song we actually wrote in this project. Um, so it's actually quite funny. But um, yeah, I mean, the song is about um, me asking the echo and confronting the echo and like asking the echo, why are you coming back to me? And all I want is that person that I'm calling out to to come back to me. Wow, that's incredible. And I think that's why also why it's on the SA Top 20 and it's in an incredible, yeah. incredible song. So I had the privilege to um, work with Reggie, um, a DJ from Belgium. He's an internationally known DJ. Um, so I was super blessed to work with him and his, um, his people. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's been an honor. And I've been chatting to him a lot during the lockdown as well. And it's going well. And they excited for my part as well. So I uh, just, yeah, I'm so thankful for to be able to be working with them and to have, or sorry, to have worked with them. And uh, yeah, so I think it's going to be a big one. It is definitely a big one. Let's listen to the yeah. second track on the album. It's called Shake It Up. Can you feel the love? Can we turn it up? We got all summer long, there's no blame in us. Yeah, I need your love. We go shake it up. Got all summer long, we go live it up. Yeah, shake it up. So shake it up is just I feel a fun song. Um, it's just a fun to listen to song. This is the song you want to listen to when you drive down the coast after lockdown, <laughs> and you just you, you know you just you have that special person with you. You just you just drive down. And you just you know shake it up. You just have the the most fun together and you won't be any place else than with that person so in what mindset do you need to be to be able to write these songs because obviously there's a recurring theme on your album but there's also different kinds of song echo is a lot different to shake it up and then hope is also a lot different to echo so yeah, yeah. what kind of mindset are you sometimes when you write these different songs well the thing is i actually you try to take an experience in your life um and just you know create a story around what you experience and what you, you felt during that time, all the ups and downs. And um, I think, yeah, we focused on song for song, but um, at the end, like the focus was on just making a project to be proud of and a project that can match the international standards that we wanted to do. So we were in that mindset with every single song, just to, you know, match the songs that we listen to every single day that's on the top chart. So I think that's, that, that was the mindset through it all. Okay, number three on the album, it's called Lucky. All this time I've been waiting, praying for a fall leaf clover to save me. All this time I've been waiting, wishing on a shooting star to come save me. I just got lucky, both of our hearts fell into place, could tell it something. So Lucky is a, a story I'm telling. Um, it's about me going into a party and meeting this girl. And then me and this, this girl's boyfriend get into a bit of an argument. And at the end of the day, I don't think I'm going to see her again. And um, I walk into her and her friends at a hotel lobby and I meet her again. And then eventually we fall in love. And yeah, it just makes me feel lucky, like the luckiest guy on the planet. So that's about what the song is. Yeah, he's stoked, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <There> we <go. laughs> um, the number four on the album, I listened to it earlier. I was uh, doing a home gym in my lounge because we're in lockdown yeah, yeah. and I listened yeah, to okay. Hope. I, I, have to keep it, I think that's important now for sure. It is definitely. And I listened yeah, no. to number four um, on the album and it's called Hope. Don't you let your hope go washing away. I can hear your heart calling me Don't you let your hope go washing away I can hear your heart calling me I can see your fire running away Don't you So 
this is this is the song um i feel relates to the time we're in now i feel people need hope now i know i do i listen to this song and feel like you know this song helps me get through this uh, it's going to help a lot of other people as well and that's the plan i mean so hope is just about holding on to that hope and not letting that hope go because if you let the hope go you got nothing and um yeah it's just about holding on to the hope and the lyric in it is uh, don't let your hope go washing away that's exactly what we need to do now So after that motivation especially during lockdown with hope on the album you wrote be back So actually what happened with this song uh the one producer I work with uh David Gresham Sloan Solomon and he actually started to write the song and he said um he was like you know 30% done with the song and he said you know um come in let's work on the song and maybe we can use it for your album as well and we eventually did as you can see and uh yeah it's uh, just a song about you I broke up with the school and um I'm not good at making promises but I promise she's going to be back So it's a bit of a bad ass <laughs> side. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. you that's going to be back, it's her that's going to be back. She's going to be back. I'm not good at making promises, but I promise she's going to be back. <laughs> okay, so this song actually spoke to me a lot earlier. I listened to the yeah. entire album. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for the exclusive yeah, listening so session. Yeah. I get a big for the spring. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so number 6 on the album is Take You As You Are. Yeah. You don't have to be okay. tonight don't always have to be just fine i'll take you as you are i'll take you as you are perfect as you are i'll take you as you are this is a um a real special song for me as well um i think it's going to mean a lot to a lot of people Uh it's just it's me telling you as the listener that I'll take you as you are. You don't have to be perfect. Um nobody's perfect. I mean we've got we've got days we don't feel perfect but um and we've got days that we do feel perf- perfect but I mean this song is for those days you don't feel perfect. You know you you look you look to yourself in the mirror and see all of the faults and that I don't think that's necessary. Because I think it's it's our faults that make us perfect at the end of the day. So um that's about what the song is. Um Our, per- our imperfections are what makes us perfect. One thing that I've realized while listening to the album and also listening to these snort, uh, short snippets is that there's a big deal of sincerity in your music. I mean, yeah, and no, it's, yeah. it's difficult to find because you're also 21 years old, so it's very easy to write about whatever's under the sun and not about these yeah. kind of things, but there's an ongoing, yeah. throughout the 12 songs, there's a sincerity um yeah, that yeah. speaks to people yeah 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 i feel like um i think you know the the type of person you are and the type of p- people i wrote with shines through in all the songs as well i mean um you 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 get that you get a glimpse of what the person is about and i feel like you know this might be a r- real good thing and everything happens for a reason it might be because we in a time like this that that's the you know the feeling going throughout the album so hopefully it means something so yeah it will definitely mean something to someone yeah. and got it be me come closer but i never really got to show ya cuz i can't wait i can't take another thing you to see your face got so much i want to say i don't want to wait too long before you end up in someone's arms that ain't me no What is that song about? Yeah, so this is um just me approaching a girl again and uh again and <laughs> and just uh telling her it's got to be me. It's not going to be anyone else. Um it's just got to be me. There's no other way. That's pretty much about what the song is. And it's about confidence, clearly. Confidence, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the next song that you'll get to hear now and listen to now that I listened to earlier. Um it's got a kind of beat. I want to say 
it's it reminds me of Mexico, but only because yeah. the song is called Tequila Gold. But that's got that extra yeah. little beat that you can dance to as well. Baila conmigo, tequila girl. Jump across the border to Mexico. Oh, you got me feeling like a criminal. My tequila girl, the tequila girl. Baila conmigo, tequila girl. The way you move your body, I can't say no. So, tell me yeah. about tequila girl. Yeah, so, um, tequila girl is just about, you know, um, it's an experience of meeting this intoxicating tequila girl, um, the sexy tequila girl, you know, brunette. And uh, yeah, and at the end of the day, I'm, I walk up to her and I tell her, baila conmigo, which means come dance with me. And that's what the song's about. That's why, and I give the credit to the producers, uh, Ziggy and Sloan as well. I mean, they put a lot of time into it. And, uh, you know, to find that sound, which you just talked about, the sexy Mexican, you want to dance to it. And yes. that's, I mean, that's the theme of the song is Baila Conmigo. So, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Um, the song straight after that, it's called The Day. But where do I go? Stepping on the gas, yet everything is moving slow. I don't want to be broken down on my knees. I've been hoping things would change, trying to stop myself doubting. How long will it take to make it? I can't. So the day I feel, um, like I don't want, I, I don't like to have, you know, um, my favorite songs, but I feel like the day is my special song. Uh, this is the one song that uh, I think is closest to my heart because it, it's about um, me proving myself wrong at the end of the day. Um, you know, you have doubts in yourself and sometimes you're the only one not believing in your dreams. You're the only one not thinking you're going to make it. And I mean, um, you have to stay positive and have the confidence, but I mean, you're going to get days, you're going to feel down, you're not going to feel like you know, something's going to happen and you're going to feel like, oh, I'm never going to make it. And I wrote this song. Um, we sat down and wrote this song like out of my heart. It just came to us. We um, we sat down and we, yeah, we were in a, you know, a very emotional state. But yeah, the song is just about um, all the doubts and insecurities. And at the end of the day, I'm going to prove myself wrong. I'm going to make it. And you also mentioned now about writing the song and sitting down with the other writers as well. If I don't, um, if I'm not mistaken, you also studied, um, and I mean, there was a lot of other things um, with that. I mean, yeah. instruments yeah, as yeah. well as songwriting. So you're a songwriter yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I studied at um, South African Music Institute for a year, and um, there I actually. Um, studied the craft, um, we had guitar, we had piano, which I actually, at the end of the day, um, worked the hardest in, you know, perfected that craft, uh, the piano and songwriting and music theory as well. And the songwriting, I feel, helped me a lot. Um, just with the basic commercial stuff you have to do to have a commercial strong song. And I feel that helped, helped a lot. I mean, they, um, they always taught us to just, you know, be yourself and be true to who you are. And to be honest, because when you're honest, people are going to relate re relate to you. So yeah, but I had I had uh, the world's fun. So it was an awesome experience to study there as well. I made some good friends in the music business, and yeah. We've gone through so many songs on the brand new album. It's called Echo. There's Lucky Hope, Be Back, Take You As You Are, uh, one of my favorite songs, Tequila. But then you wrote Escape yeah. as well. It's racing, I don't know. If it's for fighting, reality gets harder each night. Gets darker and I'm losing my mind. I'm just trying to switch up, hold up. A better me is all that I want, so I can see what I'm trying. Ignite. Yeah, so Escape is a is a real deep song. Um. It's, it's uh, just about me sitting in my room. Um, you know, I just want to escape that, you know, you sometimes feel so stuck in one place or just, you know, you're down about whatever. And you just want to escape the reality. And that's what what's this, this song's about. It's about me telling the reality, why won't you let me go? I just want to escape for a little while. Just let me go for a little while. 
Cool. The second last song on the album is called Moving Closer. Yeah. Show you places you could only dream of. I can feel you staring back at me. Tension rising as you move in closer. Tension is rising. You moving closer. Tension is rising. You moving closer. So Moving Closer is actually a song I um, collaborated with uh, Mark Stent on. And I actually performed the song with him already. We released it uh, a couple of months back. And yeah, it's just a, it's that club song, club feeling song. And uh, it's actually about uh, me being in a club and moving closer to this girl. And the tension is getting higher and higher and higher as we're moving closer together. Wow. So I wanted to ask you uh, this a bit earlier, and especially because yeah. you are 21 years old. So obviously you do have incredible people who work with you on the album. There's Mark yeah, Stain, sure. there's Sloney, uh, there's a good couple of people. But obviously yeah. when you have to sing the actual song, you have to be believable. And people need to believe yeah. that you are, you're singing about the tequila girl. People need to believe you when you're yeah. singing about a hope. Yeah, so sure. where do you go find that emotion in that song? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sloan, Sloan's going to laugh about this one. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, he's, um, so we always, we always try to, um, you know, get into the mood. I mean, some of the songs, it just happens. You know, it just, yeah. the first time you get in mood, it just happens. You feel it at the moment. But a lot of time we write the songs and later on record it again until we are happy with every single take. So we do line for line and just keep on until we are happy with the feeling, the tone, the, you know, everything. And um, it's a lot of, you know, when I think something's good and the producers don't, they tell me, let's rather try it like this. So it's, it's, a, it's, exper it's, a, it's an experiment, you know, we, we try and do all this type of sounds and, and, sound, and listen to what's better. So I feel like, um, yeah, and you have to find inspiration. I mean, what makes it easier is I wrote all of the songs. So I try and go back into that place where I was while write, writing it and get in the booth and try and find that again. And there's one thing that I know about you that I definitely um, like is that you've said before that it's a lot of trial and error. Like you aren't scared to make mistakes. And that's a big oh, thing because yeah. a lot of people don't like making mistakes. If they make their first yeah. mistake, they're like, oh no, I'm done. I, I, this is not for me. But you are saying yeah. that, okay, I, not, nobody likes making mistakes, but you welcome yeah, no, mistakes yeah. because straight after mistakes, yeah, the thing is, is you, exactly you learn from your mistakes. And it's a, it's a cliche thing to say, but uh, you learn from your mistakes. That's a true thing. It's, it's real. And I've experienced that a lot of times. I mean, I've written a lot of songs that doesn't work. I don't even take it into studio. I just leave it, you know. And, but the thing is, out of writing 100 songs, you're going to get 12. That's perfect. And that's the thing. You have to fail before you're going to make it, before you get a hit song. It's, just not, it's not just going to happen. And I mean, it's in everyday life it's it's all around us you have to make mistakes to learn from that and you sure. just mentioned uh, about 12 songs the 12th song on the album is called lucky and this is a remix of uh, the third song on the album right yeah 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 both yeah. of our hearts fell into place could tell it something even better than fate won't ask for nothing when i got everything that i need there's no one like yeah, so uh, the remix is, uh, was done by Sloney, um, he's the one producer and he wrote on a lot of these songs as well with me so um, yeah I love the guy, he's an awesome, awesome person and yeah so I'm excited that he's also featured on the album. So after everybody has listened to your album, the exclusive listening session with Hanku, his brand new English album, there's 12 tracks on there. We've just listened to it. If you want to own this album, when is the album coming out and where can they find it? So the album is dropping tomorrow, the 29th um, of May. And yeah, you guys can go and find it on Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, iTunes, uh, Google Play Music. Uh, it's going to be on all major platforms and uh, yeah, go and check it out. Let me know if you guys like the, the songs and the album. Um, I'm so, so excited to share this with you. And let's quickly wish and hold thumbs for Echo at number one on the SA Top 20. Yeah. I'll call yeah. you when there that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to call me with it. <laughs> I have to let me know. Yeah, but thanks so much for um, 
your time and for all the effort and for having Echo on the top 20. I mean, it's a, it's a huge thing for me. So thank you so much. No, it's just a pleasure. And I mean, every single week, I'm just in awe of the song quality, about your voice, about everything that just went into the song. And I wish you all yeah. the luck and all the blessings so for this year. Yeah, and I mean, that's a different kind of year, but I mean, we'll make yeah, it. It's and kind of, yeah, yeah it's, we had plans and stuff, but I mean, you can't do anything about this. So you have to be positive and just live past it for now. It exactly. Will pass. Yeah. Anku, thank you so much for joining me and we'll chat oh, soon. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Cheers, See you man. Soon. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye. Jacaranda FM.